This report is from today's CNBC Daily Open, our new, international markets newsletter. CNBC Daily Open brings investors up to speed on everything they need to know, no matter where they are. Like what you see, you can subscribe here. Sluggish kickoff Asia Pacific markets fell on Monday, with Chinese property stocks weighing on Hong Kong and mainland markets. The Hang Seng Index was down 0.4% in mid-afternoon trade, while the CSI 300 which tracks the biggest mainland listed blue chips slipped 0.8%. Japan's Nikkei 225 closed 0.5% lower. U.S. stock futures dipped, a day after major U.S. indexes posted a four-week winning streak as Treasury yields hit multi-month lows. Strategic or impulse spending, Black Friday e-commerce spending popped 7.5% from a year earlier to a record $9.8 billion in the U.S., according to an Adobe Analytics report, a further indication that price-conscious consumers want to spend on the best deals and are hunting for them online. According to the Adobe survey, $79 million of the sales came from consumers who opted for the buy now, pay later, flexible payment method to stretch their wallets, up 47% from last year. Box office cheer Thanksgiving box office sales stood at about $172 million this year, an improvement over the previous three years of pandemic-pressured ticket sales. Lionsgate's Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, had a solid second-week run in cinemas, generating an estimated $42 million for the five-day Thanksgiving frame and Apple's Napoleon, an R-rated war epic distributed by Sony, snared around $32.5 million. Hostages released The Israeli Prime Minister's office confirmed that 17 hostages held by Hamas in Gaza were released on Sunday, including a four-year-old Israeli-American, Abigail Moore Eden. The release on Sunday, the third day of the four-day military pause, brings the total number of freed hostages to 41. 50 Hamas hostages are due to be released over the four days under the terms of an agreement between Israel and Hamas. In the first two days of the temporary ceasefire, 24 hostages were released from Gaza in exchange for 39 Palestinian prisoners. Pro. Future sleeper hits after the boom and bust cycle of Beyond Meat stock. Analysts have wondered what comes next for the plant-based food space. The answer could be seed improvement, which is emerging as an area to watch as weight loss drugs gain popularity and scientists evaluate how to best feed a growing population. These are some of the little-known agriculture stocks shaping the future of alternative protein. U.S. President Joe Biden wants to tighten the noose on China's access to advanced technology and has rallied its allies to do the same. More U.S. rules are due soon, in part to close loopholes that popped up after last year's restrictions on AI chip exports went into effect. Major tech players are adapting to these new restrictions, though there are signs the impact on the industry will likely be uneven.